Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome to the construction site on Sunday. Today we're going to do some work on the uh, slab, the roof of our uh, mudroom, where we have the flat part of the house between the two buildings. We need some hydro isolating. We've done some work yesterday with the family to prepare it. And today we're gonna start on it. So first thing first, we're gonna turn on the power so we got some electricity. And there we go. Alrighty guys, I got my trusty drill, a bucket of water, a bucket to mix in the bag of uh, fixing mass for concrete structures. We use it for bridges and stuff like that. And uh, it's fast binding, I think. And also a beer bottle you can see standing back. Because uh, we're going to make the corner between the two concrete, we're going to make a nice smooth transition between the two so we can paint it. And the beer bottle works very well to make a nice smooth radius. Okay, but let's get to mixing. 4.2 liters per bag of water, but really up to the user preference for the thickness of the and stuff. So let's just put in part of the bag, mix it up and see what happens. I doubt we'll use the whole bag on that perimeter. But we'll see. And just to be a hundred percent clear, I'm not using this product because of its some special properties. But this is what the construction yard had, the building supply store. So that's what I got. some water and let's mix, let's mix it. You want to mix it until you get this pudding like consistency. Let's do it. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. This will be just fine. And there you go. We're ready to go. We got our mixture mixed. Pretty cool. Let's go upstairs and fly it. Alrighty, so the package it says to wet the surface you're going to be applying on. That's why I brought a sponge. That and also to uh, even out the edges. So I'm going to wet all of this. Also, I'll use this sponge to uh, smooth out the surface like we did last time. But we're going to start with the corner that needs it most, where the water seeps in into the building. While well, the stuff is fresh. So here we go. Let's see how this does. Oof. A bit, a bit too soft, maybe. Get the beer bottle in here in a moment. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's a bit soft. I think I'm gonna go add a little bit of powder, make it a little thicker. All right, and back. So this is a bit thicker now. Try and see what happens. Okay. Oh yeah. This is what I do. Nice 
position. Oh, I went the way. the idea. So now on the uh, product we applied, I'm using a wet sponge to make the surface more uh, monolithic to get rid of all the bumps. This is just a sponge with water. Let's see how this will turn out. But but since we're going to paint on it with the white stuff later, I want this to be really smooth. So the paint, so we don't have a big build up of paint because I saw it crashing from that. There's too much of a layer that can form micro crack and I fear that will be leaking. So I want this really smooth. Little bend to it, and the wet sponge seems to be doing a fantastic job of uh, taking off and smoothing off the top layer. All right, guys, so the batch is finished. I smoothed out the surface, but you can see from here up to there. I ran out, so I'm gonna have to mix a little bit more. But in general, this looks pretty good. All the way into the corner, and then this way. Once this dries out, it'll be fantastic, and we can start putting on the white stuff today, hopefully. So I'll go mix up a little batch and finish the remainder over here and uh, then we'll go do something else while this dries for hours they say on the package before it can get painted so we'll wait for hours now that we have all of this done it's time to go get some breakfast it's a bit past 10 o'clock now it took me about one and a half hour to complete it was pretty good when this dries out around 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll come here and Alright, guys, so now it's time to mix up the white hydro isolation. We are going to mix up the whole bag 20 kilos, and this requires. 5.8 to 6 liters, 6.2 liters of water and you can uh, use it for 2 hours so that's pretty good so let's just put it all inside this container So we'll fill it with water.
walk. Those were six liters. Actually, I think I figured out the secret because the screw goes in this way. So if I put my drill in reverse, it turns in a way that it pushes the liquid down. So no matter how fast I turn the drill, it won't splash, which is super cool. I wish I figured that out sooner. Ciałem, masz się zapierać tu ciałem. Dobra. Masz radę? Brawo. Alright guys, so we got a whole bag, batch of this paint or uh, water sealer. And the idea is to uh, cover up this area where it can leak and then the remainder of the concrete with this stuff this is like a sealer hydro isolation and other people call it foil liquid liquid foil and uh, they use it for bathrooms and stuff like that so the idea is to prevent the water seeping between these two concrete layers and into the house and uh, later on we'll have uh, proper hydro isolation with tar paper on here but this is just an under layer for extra security so we don't have to redo the roof ever all right and you can just paint it on or spray it on or whatever you like and i've got my kids here with me and the wife we're going to paint this on together so it's going to be a lot of fun all right i'll catch you soon Alright guys, so we got the first layer almost done. The kids are helping out a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but there are some thinner and thicker spots. But that's alright because we're going to do a second layer uh, in four hours when this dries out. And it's turning out pretty good. Alright guys, it's been four hours or even four and a half. We've been with the family out for a nice uh, lunch. Yeah, it's time to put on the second layer. I'm gonna do this one alone. My wife will uh, pack our stuff because we're leaving today. We've been here for nine days, which was fantastic. Had a nice vacation in the construction site. Doing a little work, a little relaxing. Really fun time. So, time to, time to put on the second layer and think about heading home. So we mixed the second batch together with my daughter and we're applying it now. We mixed uh, half a bag. So we're planning to paint only half and then mix another batch and paint the other half. And my daughter is responsible for painting the uh, upper walls or the part that goes up and the corners. And I'm doing the wide floor part and it's going pretty good.
Alrighty guys, it's all done. <laughs> Just uh, paint from the outside corners in towards the door like you're painting a floor so you don't get trapped. And it's looking pretty good. All the corners are solidly painted so I hope this will stop water from coming in and seeping through this wall down into the house below. <sighs> it was a great day today and uh, in general a great week we got a lot done I got all the bricks out I started putting some of them in but that the rest of them will wait for the next time we're here we got this done which is a major thing and uh, yeah some other minor things and uh, thank you very much for watching thank you for being here with me and I hope I'll see you next time bye What's outside over there? Wow. There's a fire, you can see. Horses? Yes. Yeah.